good morning future researchers! Kumusta kayo? Welcome back to our YouTube channel. This is me again, Teacher Tin May, ang makakasama nyo sa inyong research journey. Welcome to the second vlog in Research 2. Kung natatandaan nyo sa ating nakaraang vlog, we had a brief introduction about the topics that we will discuss in Research 2. Tanda mo pa ba kung ano-ano yun? Kung hindi, okay, wag kang mag-alala dahil ilalagay ko sa description box ang link ng brief introduction in Research 2. So, pwede mong balikan para maalala mo kung ano ang mga topics na i-discuss natin for this quarter. And of course, before we proceed with our discussion, I just want you to subscribe on my channel so that you will be updated with more videos that I'm going to post in this channel about research. So, ano pang hinihintay mo, pindutin mo na ang subscribe button, like button, and of course, the notification bell so that you will be updated whenever I post video about after going through this module, you are expected to do the following. Number one, you have to explain the meaning, characteristics, and importance of research. Categorize research in terms of features and relevance. About, let us have a simple activity. Okay, there are words and phrases that I'll be showing you in the screen. So tell whether the following is characteristic of research or not. So get a small piece of paper. So dito ko muna kayo magsagot. And then again, ipapakita ko sa inyong phrase and words. Okay, if it is a characteristic of research, kindly write yes. And if not, so just simply put no. Okay, number one, empirical. Okay, next, number two, we have logical. Next, we have analytical. Next, it develops new understanding. Okay, number five, systematic study of trend or event. Number six, okay, number six, cyclical. Okay, number seven, it involves careful collection, presentation, analysis, and interpretation of data. Next, it clarifies confusion. Okay, number, ano kay critical. Next, it leads to great observations. Next, replicability. Okay, last number, it helps knowing the culture. Okay, sige. Gusto ko na itabi mo muna yung sinagutan mong papel because ang gusto ko, ikaw mismo ang mag-check niyan mamaya whether your answer is correct or... Okay, let us now proceed with our main topic which is the characteristics of research. So, but before we proceed ulit, so, may gusto kong tandaan nyo. So, tandaan nyo lang ang acronym na ito. SEMLARK. Okay, ano ulit? Okay, tandaan nyo tong SEMLARK. Okay, SEMLARK, ilang, ilang letters yan? Seven. So, meaning to say, we have seven characteristics of research. At gusto kong tandaan nyo to para mas mabilis nyo ma-memorize ang seven characteristics of research. Number one, we have the cyclical. Okay, next, number two, we have empirical. M stands for methodical. L stands for logical. A stands for analytical. R stands for replicability. And the last one, we have letter C, the critical. SEMLARC, which is the characteristics of research. Okay. Let us define research first. 
What is research? Research is a systematic investigation process that involves data collection, critical information documentation, and analysis and interpretation of that data information in accordance with appropriate methodologies set by specific professional fields and academic disciplines. Research is the systematic study of trend or event which involves careful collection, presentation, analysis, and interpretation of quantitative data or facts that relates man's thinking with reality. Now, let us discuss the characteristics of research. Research has its own characteristics that distinguish from other scholarly undertakings. So here are the seven characteristics of research. Okay, let's have number one. Number one, cyclical. Cyclical means a research starts with a problem and ends with a problem. Cyclical means circle, and a circle doesn't end. That's the reason why there's a recommendation part in every research paper, because a research can be a source of another research. Number two, we have empirical. Research is based on direct experience or observation by the researcher. A high level of confidence can be established on the execution of research procedures to gather empirical data, analysis, and interpretation of results and formulation of conclusions and appropriate recommendations. Third, we have methodical. Methodical means that research is conducted in a methodical manner without bias using systematic method and procedures. Oh, ayan, methodical. Okay, from the word itself, method. So, meaning to say, we are following process. There are methods that we are following when we are doing a certain research. Walang research na walang sinusunod na procedure. Even a simple science experiment follows procedure. Without procedure in doing research, everything will be a mess. Okay, let's have the fourth one. We have the logical. Logical means that research is based on valid procedures and principles. The adjective logical is rooted in the Greek word logos, which means reason, idea, or word. So, calling something logical means it's based on reason and sound ideas. In other words, throughout with mathematical precision and removed from emotion. Sounds strict and boring, but it's the orderliness and consistency of logic that helps you write a great argument and figure out how to solve a problem. Logical describes something from a clear reasoning. So for example, merong sunog. Okay. Trying to put out a fire using fire extinguisher is a logical thinking. Okay. Pero trying to put out a fire using gasoline ay hindi na yun logical. Ano? E di lalo mong sinunog kung lalagyan mo ng gasolina, di ba? Okay, the fifth one, we have analytical. When we say analytical, it means that research utilizes proven analytical procedures in gathering data, whether historical, descriptive, or experimental and case study. The adjective analytical and the related verb analyze can both be traced back to the Greek verb analien, which means to break up or to loosen. If you're analytical, you are good at taking a problem or task and breaking it down into smaller elements in order to solve the problem or complete the task. It refers to the ability to collect and analyze information, problem solve, and make decisions. The fifth one, we have analytical. So, narinig nyo naman what's the meaning of analytical. So, from the word itself, analytical, so it means to analyze. Okay, ibig sabihin, a research should be analyzed at kapag nag analyze tayo, di ba, we are trying to uh, put everything into smaller pieces. Ibig sabihin, hinihimay-himay natin bawat detalye ng isang bagay. And that is uh, one of the characteristics of research na kapag nagre-research ka, kapag gumagawa tayo ng research study, we are trying to uh, put everything out from that certain study. Okay? It is the ability to collect and analyze information uh, to solve problem and to make decisions. So, ganun kapag sinabing analytical. Ano? It means to loosen up, to break up. Okay, the sixth one, we have replicability. 
When we say replicability, the research design and procedures are repeated to enable the researcher to arrive at valid and conclusive results. It is only through this process of replication that a particular research can claim variability of valid and reliable or consistent results. It refers to whether the results from your test or experiment can be replicated if repeated exactly the same way. In order to demonstrate replicability, you must provide statistical evidence that shows your result can be used to predict outcomes in other experiments. Okay, ayan. We have the sixth one. We have replicability. It means to replicate. So, pag sinabi nating replicate, ano ibig sabihin nun? We are trying to repeat the procedure. So, hindi pwedeng isang beses mo lang gagawin yung isang procedure. That's the reason kapag nagbuklat ka ng mga research paper, especially kapag scientific research, maraming trials dyan. Ano? May trial 1, may trial 2, may trial 3. Iba pa, yung sa, iba pa yung sa setup A, sa setup B, sa setup C, and sa setup D. Tigagatlong trial yan. So, ano ba ang reason bakit kailangan nating i-repeat yung procedure ng paulit-ulit? Sige nga, ano, ang, ano sa palagay mo ang dahilan? Okay. The reason why we need to replicate the procedure is for us to gather a valid result. A valid and conclusive result para makita natin yung precision at ac pagiging accurate ng iyong data. Kasi pwedeng yung, yung unang procedure mo, medyo nagkaroon tayo ng extraneous variable doon. And the last one, we have critical. Critical means that research exhibits careful and precise judgment. And for the last one, we have critical. It exhibits careful and precise judgment. Okay, being critical, it also involves supporting your arguments with a factual evidence. So, okay, those are the seven important characteristics of research. So, now let us generalize. Again, ano nga ulit yung seven characteristics of research? Ano nga yung sinabi ko sa inyong tandaan nyo para hindi nyo makalimutan? So, we have the SEMLARC. Again, SEMLARC means we have cyclical, empirical, methodical, logical, analytical, replicability, and the last one, we have the critical. Okay, sana ay matandaan nyo at naintindihan ang lesson na ito. Okay, this is the end of our lesson one about the nature of research and the different characteristics of research. So, in our next lesson vlog, we're going to discuss about the importance of research. Bakit ba importante ang research? Para saan ba ang research? Eh, ang boring naman ang research, nakakatamad gawin ang research, nakakaantok gawin ang research, nakakatamad manig ng discussion about research. But, we will discuss about the very important thing why research is very essential. Okay. So, again, hanggang sa susunod nating pagkikita, maraming salamat. At sana ay may natutunan ka sa ating lesson vlog na ito. See you on my next vlog again. This is Teacher Tin May. See you on my next vlog. Paulit-ulit tayo. Bye! At bago nga pala matapos ang video na to, gusto ko lang pong i-shout out ang aking best friend na si Ara Mariela Di Mailig. Thank you for being so supportive. Hello ulit sa aking mga kaguruan na nagkukumahog ngayon kung paano gagawa ng lesson sa ating mga isadyante. Ayun yun lang at maraming salamat ulit. Bye!